Since the last Pilot Flying J update, they've opened one additional site. There's also been six additional sites spotted under construction, and I've recalculated the price across the entire network, and it's dropped more than four cents as average. Also, the high price has dropped. It was at 85 cents per kilowatt hour. The low price has also dropped. It's now the low price is 47 cents per kilowatt hour in Harrisonburg, Virginia. So with the pricing, it's very dynamic. It's changing um, multiple times throughout the week. Apparently what's going on is when they first open a station, they just use their best guess for what the pricing should be. And then as they start to get analytics from the sale of the electricity at that location, they kind of calibrate it. And the prices, as I went through this time to refactor, mostly are dropping. Some of them are dropping like 10 cents. Uh, a few of them are going up a little bit, so it's not like all of them go down, but it's like they open a station, they leave it at a given price for a certain amount of time, and then they start to tweak the pricing. So there's a lot of dynamic dynamic in the uh, pricing as um, is spread out across the entire network. The general trend, though, is on a downward swing, which is really good news because there's been a lot of bad press about this network's pricing. So average price, 60 cents per kilowatt hour, high price 81 in Castleton on Hudson, the low price 47 in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Let's go ahead and get into the update. The new location that opened up uh, just last night is right here in Pembroke, New York, uh, close to Buffalo and the Canadian border. There's six new locations that have been spotted under construction. Let me see if I can remember uh, what these six are. I'm probably not. I'll have to go down to the table to be accurate. There's two in Ohio. There is hmm, one in Kentucky, in southern Kentucky near Nashville. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee is right here, but it's right across the border in Kentucky. Uh, there's one in northern Georgia. And um, hmm, I'm trying to remember where the other one is. Well, let's just go ahead and get into the update. This is the um, new by 2024 off the Pilot Flying J website. There's 31 weeks left in the year with 162 left open. That's about five per week. It's actually 5.25 per week. So they need to start picking up the pace. And I don't know exactly what their intentions are with all these sites that are stacking up under construction. If it's just about the timeline of these getting activated or if they're intending to do some kind of large PR style, you know, 13 sites opened or something. I'm not really sure, but I know that the number of sites is now up to 39 spotted under construction, which is a pretty heavy backlog. And um, there's no indication of slowdown. It seems like every day I turn around, I find a new pilot flying J that is under construction. Um, okay, so this is the EVGO map, which is a little bit different. This pilot flying J map is really the one that I'm dialing in on. And if you count these dots, that's 200. Um, that they're expecting to have open by the end of this year. In order to do so, they need to open five per week. This last week, they only opened one, so they need to pick up the pace. Okay. The percentage complete of the 500 locations, which they're said to have at the end of the project, is 7.6% complete. So it has ticked up a bit. We're at 38 open. Um, about this 500, they have about 750 locations around the United States. And um, I think the reason they're doing 500 locations is not every location is needed to be built, meaning at some interstate exits, there's both a pilot and a flying J or two pilots or two flying J's at one interstate exit. So you don't need to put electric charging in both locations. You can put it in one and service that interstate exit just fine. Sometimes I've actually seen three at one exit. I mean, this this company really is a, is a sleeping monster. They they have a very heavy presence on interstate exits, and once you start seeing them, it's like you can't stop seeing them. As I mentioned, the one new site that is open, uh, the way this works for people who are new to this update is this is sorted north to south by time zone. Um, in the eastern time zone, the and new sites that are spotted are highlighted. Um, in the Eastern Time Zone, Pembroke, New York, as I mentioned near Buffalo, uh, it does have a canopy. Also, if it's NEVI funded, I note that here in this column. 75 cents per kilowatt hour is the initial pricing. Um, as I mentioned, this used to be the high price. It's dropped four cents to 81, which is still ridiculously high, but at least it's on a downward trend. 
And a lot of these other ones, as I said, as I was peppering on through getting updated pricing are down. Some of them down as much as 10 cents. Uh, definitely good news there. I'm going to scroll through this table kind of slowly so you can pick up anything that might be near you uh, that didn't uh, immediately show up on the on the uh, map and were easily identifiable on the map. Also, anyone who did a site visit video, I mentioned it here and I'll link it down below in the description. Mount Sterling, Kentucky is a hopeful one because that's penetrating cold country into the holy grail of electric vehicle charging, which is West Virginia. We're waiting with bated breath for West Virginia to get lit. Okay, so there's the Eastern time zone. Let's go down to the Central time zone. Most have canopies. That seems to be the trend with the builds that are occurring now. Most have canopies. I'd say three quarters of the locations that I'm seeing get built have canopies. Here's the Mountain and Pacific time zones. Not as much as in the Eastern and the Central. Okay, let's get into spotted under construction, because as I said, this is really exploding. We're up to 39. Not too long ago, we were at 30, and it was at 40, and I was getting ready to do the update, and I checked for any new sites, and Pembroke opened, so it dropped to 39. But there's definitely a very heavy influx of sites spotted under construction. Again, sorted north to south by time zone. Here's the eastern time zone. I'm going to slowly scroll down. Anything new is highlighted. Eaton, Ohio, a Nevi site. We're unsure if it has a canopy, and at the end of this update, I'm going to roll a slide deck that has all the canopy locations, both open and spotted under construction, so you'll be able to see pictures of those. Cadwell, Ohio, spotted under construction by PlugShare user Aaron W. As you can see, the Eastern time zone is very heavily targeted with um, spotted under construction. Tennessee, Gordonsville, spotted under construction just this week. Northern Georgia, Riscata, I think is how that's pronounced, on Interstate 75. It does have a canopy. Alabama, Hope Hall, in kind of like the middle southern section of Alabama on Interstate 65, confirmed by YouTuber Jonathan Stewart. Central time zone sorted north to south. Newly spotted under construction, Franklin, Kentucky. North of Nashville. Confirmed by U YouTuber Puppy V. And that rounds out the new one spotted under construction. Quickly going over the uh, site designs. There is a type A, which is kind of a rectangle canopy uh, butted up against a curb without pull through. There is the more common 40 by 40 type C square canopy with pull through. There is a diamond shaped type D and a diamond shaped type E, which is both pull through. And these are needed in certain circumstances depending on the drive lines. And then there's an extension of the gas canopy type EX, which just extends the gas canopy on out. I'm going to roll the slide deck that shows the canopy locations. Thank you very much for watching.